So hi, my name is Brett Talbert. I'm a member of the Juniper licensing team. And today I will be demonstrating the new bulk tool functionality on the Juniper Agile licensing portal. So as you can see on the landing page of the Juniper Agile licensing portal, there is a link to the bulk tool. All you have to do is select the bulk tool button on the landing page and that will take you to the two bulk license activation tools that we are releasing on the portal. So on the left is the bulk hardware license activation tool. This tool is used for simultaneous license key activations against multiple hardware devices. To use this tool, simply select the link and it'll take you to the bulk hardware license activation page, which as you can see, provides you with detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform a bulk hardware license activation. Step one is to download the Excel file template. We'll open it so you can see what is required within the Excel template. You'll want to make sure as well that prior to populating this spreadsheet that you have collected all of the activation codes and hardware serial numbers that you want to activate license keys against. As you can see, there's a maximum of a thousand activations that can be performed in the bulk hardware activation tool. And all one needs to do is simply enter the individual activation codes in this file and also the uh, associated hardware device serial number that they want to activate that particular license key for. Once the hardware activation Excel template is populated, you'll want to save the copy to your hard drive and use that to move on to the next step in the activation. So it's step two is to upload the populated file. I should also note it's important not to change any of the aspects of the Excel template so that the tool will recognize your populated file. So now that you've populated the Excel template with all your information and saved it to your hard drive, you simply browse to the location that your populated template is located on your hard drive and you hit open. And then step three is to simply submit that Excel file template for activation. You can also select an option to activate for yourself or for your partner to activate on behalf of your end customer. You'll need to enter your email address in the license key email field. You can also add multiple email addresses in this field if desired. The terms and conditions will need to be agreed to. And then simply hit next and you'll be taken to the product registration page. It's important to note for a hardware bulk activation that only one install location can be selected. So all activations within your bulk activation will be using the one physical install site that you select. So here you can select the default location associated to your account or to the account for which you're activating, or you can use another existing location. So we'll go ahead and select another existing location and then hit submit. Now, as you can see, the submission has been confirmed. The format of the file has been verified and everything looks appropriate. Once the submission is confirmed, you will also receive a bulk upload reference number. This reference number can be used to speed your customer service experience. Once the submission is complete on the portal, you can simply select I'm done and it'll take you back to the landing page. Now, upon completion of your submission, you will also receive a bulk license submission confirmation, which will contain the same information that we saw on the confirmation page, but you'll also have an email for your reference. It can take up to an hour, depending on the size of the bulk activation, for the actual license keys to be delivered to you. So I have previously completed a bulk activation for demonstration purposes, and this is the hardware activation key delivery email that I received. So as you can see in the attached Excel file, you will have the status of your activation as well as the license keys, if applicable, um, associated to that particular activation that was performed. In this license key delivery Excel file, you'll see for each activation, the activation code that is provided as well as how many were used in the activation and how many are remaining against that actual entitlement, the specific device serial number on which the license key was activated is provided, your software support reference number is also provided. This is it's a reference number to, that you can provide to customer care. The specific feature SKU that was activated is provided. 
if there's an expiration date associated to that particular entitlement and activation, that is also provided. And then the status of the activation, if it was successful, you will see, of course, that all of these were. But if there are failures or errors, those will also be provided on each line item and the error message or reason for failure will also be detailed. For more information on the Juniper Agile Licensing Portal, hover over the question mark icons throughout the portal for contextual help. Additional help may be found in the Juniper Agile Licensing FAQs. Thank you.